Guys love talking about stocks. We do. I think it's all those facts and figures that makes us feel like we're in control. And we love to be in control. That's why we usually stay away from subjects like marriage. <laughs> We know, once the ring hits the finger, we just lost control. <laughs> oh, but it's fun talking about stocks. You get a group of guys together, and they'll just go back and forth about stocks. But the real game is, you got to spot who's the liar. <laughs> Because there's always one in the group. And I know this because we all got testosterone. You know what that does to us. That makes us stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always got a one-up. <laughs> like one guy in the group says, Dude, I just bought Google. And the other one has to say, I got it on the run-up. And then the third idiot has to say, well, I got it at IPO. But instantly, that third guy realizes, he just messed up. Because <laughs> guys are cruel. And we'll just straight up call him out. <laughs> like one guy in the group will be like, doesn't IPO mean you can afford something more than a 1996 Civic? <laughs> uh, but we hold on to stocks way too long. I mean, the thing can be going down for a month. And you'll still be like, it's coming back. <laughs> All I need is more time. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> what you need is to find that sell button. <laughs> And really, at that point, your only strategy is hope. And that strategy sucks. Because <laughs> basically, all you're saying is, I don't like cash. <laughs> Please take it from me. <laughs> um, but I think we hold because... Selling hurts. Yeah, they say it hurts twice as much to sell a loser as it is to hold on to a winner. Which means when you finally decide to dump that loser, it's almost like you just got a divorce. <laughs> oh, yeah. You lost half your money. And all you're left with is memories of pain. 